In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create a color palette from the colors in a pixel-based image using Inkscape. So the first thing you'll want to do is import your image onto the canvas, as I've done here with my example image. And to sample the colors from this image, we're going to use the Trace Bitmap tool. So I'm going to click on the image to select it, and I'll go to Path, and I will select Trace Bitmap. Now the settings I want to go with over here on the right-hand side of the screen, I want to choose the Multicolor tab, and then I want to come over here to this drop-down and choose Colors. Now right here where you see the number of scans, this represents the number of colors that will be sampled from your image. And you could see a preview of some of those colors over here in this preview menu. Now if you notice, I have eight, which is the default, which you can see it includes a lot of the colors there, but it misses the pinkish reddish color of the hat here. So for my example, I'm going to increase this number until I get more of those colors that I want to include. And once you're finished, all you have to do is click the Apply button and give it a second to process. If you're using a lot of colors like I am in my example, it's going to take a minute or two to process. Okay, so the trace is finished. I'm going to click and drag the trace to move it away from the image. And then I'm going to select the image and press Delete on the keyboard to get rid of that because we don't need that anymore. I just want the vector colors here. And I'm going to ungroup this. So I will go to Object and I will select Ungroup. And once you've done that, you can click off of the image to deselect everything. And you could zoom in to all of the vector-based elements here to see the different colors that you could sample. So I'm going to start off with this pink shade right here. I'm going to click on that to select it. And if you notice over here, you'll see the color highlight in this little stripe down here in the bottom left of the screen. I'm just going to double click on this stripe and it's going to open up the fill and stroke menu. And with this object still selected, I want to go to the fill tab and then over here, I want, to ch I want to choose this button right here that says swatch. I'm going to click on that and it's going to add that color to a new swatch. And now we can go to our swatches menu by going to view and selecting swatches. Now you should see your swatch appearing in this list here. If you see other colors populating here, just click on this menu and choose auto from this drop down. So now that we know how to do that, we can go add some more colors to our swatch here. So I'm going to come back over here to the fill and stroke menu. I'm going to choose a shade of blue and I'm going to add that to my swatch as well. And if you notice, each new swatch you add will be indexed in this menu right here. So I'm going to add some more. And once you're finished, once you're happy with all of your swatches, you can zoom out you can press Control A on your keyboard or Command A if you're using Mac to select everything and then just press Delete because we don't need it anymore. Now we have our swatches in place. And if you want to change the color menu down here at the bottom of the screen, just click on this menu icon over here down at the bottom right. And instead of Inkscape default, we want to choose Auto. And once we have Auto selected, our chosen colors that we created from the image will appear in the menu there. And if you want to make those icons bigger, you can come back over here to the menu and choose Configure, and you could take the tile size and increase it like that. And now you have much bigger swatches to work with down there in the bottom left corner. And now when you create new objects, let me show you as an example, you can color your new objects using these swatches down here. So now let's go over how you can save these swatches in case you want to use them in other documents in the future. Now there is no way to directly save these swatches, but there is a workaround using templates. So what you want to do is save this entire document as a template, and then it'll be saved with these swatches so that next time you open a new document from that template, you will have these in place. So I'm going to come up here to where it says File and go to Save Template. And I'm going to give this a name. I'm just going to name this Nature Palette. And I'll click Save. And now if I go to File and I select New from Template, I can choose the Custom tab. I'm going to select Nature Palette and click Create from Template. And in my new document, I can go to View, Select Swatches, and there my color palette is. So that's how you can generate color palettes from images using Inkscape. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Inkscape Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Inkscape, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. 
We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.